She'll have updates on WRL.com and on our news starting at 4. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson and the state's top Republican lawmakers are pressing the White House for answers after a man on the terrorist watch list was arrested here in North Carolina. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live outside the Lieutenant Governor's mansion where he held a news conference within the last two hours. Matt, what came out of that? Yeah, Jeff. Well, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson signed on to this letter. It is sent to President Biden at the White House here. Also signing on to this letter, House Speaker Tim Moore, Senate President Phil Berger, and the Sheriff of Gates County. That's where this arrest happened. Now, the Lieutenant Governor held the press conference here, standing next to a photo of a wet hagos from that arrest in Gates County, which is in the eastern part of the state, right along the Virginia border. Hagos faces several charges, including resisting a public officer and assault on a government official. The sheriff's office says Hagos is from Africa and is on the federal terrorist watch list. The lieutenant governor used his office here to raise some questions about this case and to criticize the president's immigration policies. I asked Robinson why he's calling this an urgent threat now since this arrest happened a week ago. At what point between then and now did this become an urgent public safety threat? And have you spoken to the governor or state law enforcement about this? Uh... It was urgent from the very beginning when it was brought to our radar. That's why we contacted the sheriff immediately to let, uh, ask him uh, what we could do uh, to heighten folks' awareness and to let him know that we were there for his office to give him any assistance he needed. So it was urgent from the very beginning. And yes, we have sent this letter to the entire council of state. We have reached out to Governor Roy Cooper's office to find out what they know about this case and if they have talked to the lieutenant governor about this. Robinson, of course, is running for governor and immigration has become a big issue that Republicans are taking on in their campaigns. In fact, immigration was the most important issue for Republican North Carolina voters in a recent WRAL news poll. Robinson did waver a bit when he was asked whether he supports the bipartisan bill that was put into Congress. It failed under uh, uh, urging from President Donald Trump to reject that. So Republicans voted against that bipartisan immigration bill. Robinson here today said he wouldn't fully support it, but he wouldn't not fully support that immigration bill. All right, Matt Tallhelm, live outside the Lieutenant Governor's Mansion in Raleigh. Thank you. Today, enrollment for an after school program.